may I now request Sri Hemant Kanoria ji to present the vote of thanks. Dr. Karan Singh ji, distinguished guests, dignitaries, leaders from all over the world, spiritual leaders, philosophers, ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a great privilege and a pleasure that we have been able to welcome you. And I would like to first of all thank Dr. Karan Singh for such an eloquent way that he has presented his spirituality. And the three major points which he had covered so well is about the interfaith, the gender equality, and also about the planet, that how do we preserve the planet. And last 12 years, that is what our foundation, the Kanoria Foundation, under the leadership of my father, we have tried to do, that how do we take these thoughts forward? The spirituality, when we talk about, is only from the perspective which is beyond any religion. So it is a neutral thing which is talking about our spirit and how do we evolve ourselves as better human beings. Also, gender equality, the woman empowerment which my father and the foundation has been continuously spreading because we believe that each of us, we are a soul, and the soul is neutral. There is no gender for the soul. This life, we may be a male or a female. Next life, we may change. So therefore, the soul keeps on evolving, and the soul is always neutral where gender is concerned, and also the preservation of the planet. I think that what we believe, and which we have been trying to propagate, every year through this spirituality confluence, is how do we spread the joyfulness to people all around? And how do we bring in a realization? Because our Vedas talk about the self-realization. So how do we inculcate the process of self-realization, the process of the self-journey that we are all on? and that each one of us, we are distinct individuals. Each one of us, we have a work to do on this particular planet. Each one of us, we come here to realize what we are and how we can contribute to this planet in a positive manner. And that is what we have been trying to imbibe and also trying to propagate year after year. It reminds me, I usually like to tell stories, so it reminded me of a story which I had read as a child and which was of two earthen pots. There were two earthen pots which were used by a priest, and one pot was cracked on the top, and another one was a full pot. And the priest used to go to the river every day, fill in water in both the pots, and used to bring it back and offer it to the deity. One day, both the pots were sitting, and the earthen pot, the cracked one, asks the whole one that, you know, I really feel that I'm incomplete because when the water is being brought, a lot of water gets spilled over when it is being brought in my pot, whereas you are privileged because you are in a position to every, the, every drop of water which is filled in at the river comes in and it is offered to the deity. So you're, you're really privileged and you must be Feeling, the, feeling that you have a fulfilled life where I do not. And one day, when the, uh, the, both the earthen pots were being brought in by the priest, the cracked one asks the priest that you see, every day, for years together, you have been filling water in me, and I have been dropping it all over. But at the same time, you have continuously kept on doing it. Why do you do? He said, it's my duty. So therefore, I have been filling in the water and bringing in both the pots, one full, another one which was cracked, so the water keeps on dropping everywhere. But he said that, please look at on the right side of the river where the, there was a right side of the road where there was a crack. And there were flowers all around that particular path, not on the right side where the, where the full pot was there, but the cracked pot where it was there, the water was leaking, and over a period of time, there was a bed of flowers on one side of the road. And the priest tells the crackpot that you were doing your job, I was doing my job, and God was doing his job. Because 
because of the water which was falling, flowers have come up. So when any of the people who are coming for the pilgrimage, they used to have the water, the full pot of water which was there to offer to the deity, but they were also able to pick up the flowers which was there all around. Because all of us, we are doing our jobs. All of us, we are doing what we are destined to do, and we did it diligently. So therefore, don't be distressed. You have done a good job, I have done my, I have uh, basically fulfilled my responsibility, so each of us, we have done what we are supposed to do. So in life, I think that that is what we need to realize. The priest did not give up. The pot which was not full felt bad about it, but the pot which was full was also having a job to do, the crack pot and the priest, all three. So the learning from this particular story, which I took as a child, is that each one of us, there is a responsibility that we have been given. And first of all, we have to realize the responsibility. Most of us, we don't realize what is the responsibility that we have. Once we realize the responsibility, that is through our inner journey. So we have to go within ourselves. We need to do a soul searching, find out who we are. And as we find out what we are, we should be in a position to fulfill those responsibilities which have been given. And usually with my colleagues, I always cite one example of a monkey. I say that if we have been, if someone has been created as a monkey, let us not try to ape an elephant. If we have been created as a monkey, we should be the best monkey, like Hanuman. Hanuman is worshipped. Hanuman was created as a monkey, but it is a monkey which is revered. So therefore, our scriptures, our Purans, our Vedas teach us a lot of things. And if we go through it, if we read it, and if we try to see that how we are able to imbibe it in our lives, these are very simple stories, which if we imbibe in our lives, we'll feel that we have a life of fulfillment. We'll feel happy about it. We'll feel joyful about it. And this platform, this confluence, which we do for two days, is precisely to bring everyone from all over the world who can interact, who can share their views, who can share their ideas. It is neutral on religion, because religion is just a path that we have chosen. It is all about spirituality. So how do we go within ourselves? The inner journey is what we are trying to propagate. And I hope all of you enjoy this two days of the seminar that we have. You will have a lot of erudite leaders coming in, philosophers. So soak yourself in it. And I would again like to thank all of you for making it convenient to come over, because every year, many of you are making it convenient to come over, which is really a privilege for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Dr. Karan Singh, once again, for taking the trouble of coming all over from Delhi. Thank you. Thank you so much.